When I was in, in the mountains in Venezuela, every morning I would go for a, a two mile walk up and down the mountain. I would go to the village in the town, get a fresh loaf of bread, and walk back up the mountain, right? I was in great shape, it was terrific. And one day I'm walking up the mountain, and I got this idea, you know, just to pick up these leaves and put them in the paper. So I started doing that. And then another day I'm walking down the mountain, and I got this idea to make three-dimensional pieces. So I walked right from up the hill, walked into my studio, and I just took all this bamboo that was growing around the, around the studio, and I just started breaking it off and trying to tie the pieces together and create a form. So I made these forms and stretched the paper over, and it worked. And I used the, the vessels in my installation at the museum. When I came back to Philadelphia, I was still intrigued by making the forms, and I was making the forms this time I was using, instead of the bamboo poles, I was using CPVC pipe because it worked. And then I had these woodcuts that I had been making, and I realized that I could glue them onto the surface of these forms that were made out of tracing paper. So I made the prints with very light ink on the lightest paper, seven pound rag tracing paper, glue it onto the surface, and after it hardens, I put color onto it, gold leaf them, and I realized that I was making three-dimensional prints and stepping off the wall. And I've been in this sort of stepping into becoming a sculptor for a really long time, but I've always had this relationship with the woodcuts. So anyway, I thought this was a, a pretty interesting idea. The idea of light inside of them intrigued me. What I did on these forms, these were based really on turtles' uh, shapes and uh, forms from the forest. These are based on seeds. Uh, I cut out this, uh, this print, made it, stuck it on the surface, hand colored it, and then taking my brush and India ink, drew in spontaneously the rest of this to fit in around it, and then stuck it on top of my other painting so that the painting seems to bulge and step forward and glow. I was reconnecting myself with the paintings that really started my career back in the 80s where I had forests with figures hidden in them, and you had to look past the hands and in through the leaves to see them. Now the figures step out with, as if it propelled by light to the space that we're in from that forest. And they're amazingly resilient. They're very strong, and uh, they, they, they really are uh, kind of fun uh, to make and really fun to work with. I actually made these paintings at the same time as I was doing this. And I've not shown these before. This one I just brought out of the storage. It's never been out before. I went back to where I was and made this connecting piece to these just to see what I was thinking of whether what I was doing in both made any sense.